I'm Tactical Pascal, welcome to the channel, I hope this finds you all safe and well. Now this video is a departure from my normal DCS content and it's because I recently picked up the Hawk T1 uh, from Just Flight for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to get to the Mac loop and then hoof around in it low level because it is honestly one of the greatest things I've ever done in a flight simulator. So let's get cracking. We're going to take off here from RAF Valley. Uh, the ICAO code is Echo Golf Oscar Victor. If you have trouble remembering, say it in Welsh. Ooh, Valley. OV. There we go. Easy peasy. So let's get started up and we'll head off. I was joined on this flight by Pilot Piles from Tactical DCS and also my good friend Azza. It was Piles that showed us the way to get to the Mac Loop. So uh, you might see some hawks in the footage that. Uh, I'm about to show you. Uh, that's Piles and Azza uh, flying around. Now, because of the connection issues sometimes with flight sim, the aircraft appeal has got stores on them, then they don't, or their gears down, or their flaps down. Uh, we're all flying clean with only that centerline smoke tank in the, the Red Arrows config, but obviously the 100 squadron livery, as you can see there. So, as and I formed up with a little chit chat, and then we descended low level to show them the way. But what I'll do is I'll cut into a different bit of footage with me just flying up so you can see where it is and how easy it is to get there. All you need to do is get airborne from Valley, fly southeast, in fact, probably about 150 ish, towards Barmouth and the mouth of the Dovey River. Now, once you arrive, all you're going to do is fly up the river and then you're going to be doing a little right hand turn to get to the entrance of the Mac Loop. So there's the town of Barmouth down there. So we're cutting across the little uh, uh, mouth of the river as it joins the sea there. And we're going to roll out and we're going to follow the lake all the way up. I say lake, it's not a lake, it's a river outlet, it's the mouth of the river. So you see me there looking left and right at, I'm aware that Azza and Piles are somewhere. So we're going to fly up this river and we'll pick this up as we get further on. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. A little bit about me, uh, I'm a GCI instructor. Uh, I've spent some time actually flying in the Hawk doing a variety of uh, training and liaison missions with uh, 100 Squadron down at Leeming. Uh, I now uh, I left the Air Force and I now do it as a civilian contractor overseas. Anyway, let's get cracking. So we filled the mouth of the river up, the river is now getting narrow, so we're going to do our gentle right hand turn. Uh, we can see the town of Dolgethlai on our right hand side there. We're going to keep flying past that, so we keep that on our right. And we can see off to our right hand side a sort of step in the mountains as they come down. And all we're going to do is a right hand turn into the valley following the A487. So we're looking, make sure everything's clear, yep, nothing coming. And then we look right, there's the entrance there. So we give a right, right hand bank, put a bit too much G there, we should be a bit 4G turn there as we're turning in, turning in, looking up ahead. And then we're going to roll in and begin the Mac loop. So flying over here, past cross foxes, rolling out. And then we're looking for the entrance, uh, turn off that alarm because I'm terrible with the hawk because I've only had it a little while. So we're flying in, we can see piles leading the way up ahead. So we're flying it straight down and then we can see that little lake up in front of us. Just before we get to the lake, we're gonna do a sharp left-hand turn into the next valley across. So looking ahead, judging our turn, getting the G on, pulling hard, and then we go to the next valley. And then rolling out, we're gonna follow this valley down um, all the way through. Uh, we're gonna to come to, that was the, in fact, here's the chorus turn. There we go, uh, going left, rolling out, piles are still ahead taking a nice little line through the hills and then we're going to come hard right following the valley now we can try and make this turn hard left hard right you got to put the brake out and all that jazz but I'm like nope not going to make that so we go up over the top and then pull back down into the valley speed brakes go out there's piles almost crashed into him not great for me for losing set of him but still so piles tells me he's going to cut left so I'm just watching him and then I begin following him down Left bank in. Up we go. Now we are in the flat part of the valley. This runs all the way back up towards the exit and then start again if we want to. 
So we're flying down low. I mean, look at the graphics on Flight Sim. How can you not love the look of Flight Sim 2020? It's absolutely stunning. So we continue up the, the valley as I'm clicking buttons on my editor. <laughs> so I'm trying to get a little closer to piles, but I think I lose him here because he, he puts his boards out because he notices he's going a bit too fast. And I think I, again, nearly run into the back of him. Not an issue with Flight Sim because unlike DCS, there's no collision detection between aircraft. So I'm just following him and I'm just awestruck at how beautiful this is and how much fun it is actually. So banking left, heading up towards the short run for the exit. And rolling wings level. Watching piles every move. I'm getting on them a bit because I've crept up to 500 knots. I've not noticed yet because I'm still looking at the trees. So I'm going to pull up high, put the boards out, get that speed down. Stay high, let pals know that I'm above him. There he goes in front of me, so I just follow him down now. We can see the hill on the right there, it's got some trees stripped on the right. And then the hill to the left is black. Now, I've been calling it Black Hill in the sim. It's not called that, I don't know what it's called in real life, but we begin a left hand turn back up towards the next valley, which is bringing us out towards the end of our loop. Have a look, because again, the sim looks fantastic. Turn left, banking in. Rolling out, and then we're going to go to a right hand turn to begin the exit, and here we come to the exit of the map clip. Now rolling wings level, if we look off to our left here as soon as we exit, we can go back in and do it all over again immediately. So there's the entrance to the map clip there, so we've done a successful loop, and what an experience it is. If you haven't tried this in Flight Sim 2020 in any aircraft, give it a go. But certainly flying this in the Hawk, the Just Flight Hawk, is wonderful. One absolutely fantastic module. And of course it helps that it looks absolutely stunning. So with that being said, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this was the Mac Clip. I'm Tactical Pascal. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Until next time, Tactical Pascal, out.